Sanam Private Investments National Portrait Award for 2013 was initiated by a small gallery in, in Durbanville called the Riston Freire Gallery. It's a small volunteer organization that came to SPI with not necessarily a unique project, but a project that gelled very well with, with Sanam Private Investments um, marketing strategy to look at individual wealth and the portrait award, the suggestion that portraits should be used as a competition, fitted in particularly well with that sort of focus by the company. It's modelled very much on the UK Portrait Award, which invites artists to uh, submit paintings for adjudication. And in England, it's, it's particularly focused at painting, or exclusively, where we open this competition broadly to almost all media excepting photography and film-based media, what, what in the common terminology in the art world is called lens-based media. We were hoping to get a lot of, of diverse entries. In particular, we were hoping to get some more sculpture. But unfortunately, I think over the period of time and what's required to put our sculpture on exhibition, we had quite a few entries that made it to the final round. What we're seeing in this exhibition, which is 40 works selected from approximately 1,800 entries that were submitted, in a sense we were overwhelmed. Nobody knew that there would be such an interest in a competition that, that asked people to paint something quite simple by, by most people's standards, a portrait. And in a sense, what one sees in this exhibition is a small little snapshot of perhaps a broad range of, of perspectives on portraiture. What was particularly interesting is that over the, the broad range of, of entries, the technical ability of most of the artists was pretty high. So in a sense, there was no problem with the, the ability to paint or to draw or to make, make etchings or prints as such. And in that sense, it was very encouraging to see how many people were prepared to do this. I think it was also an attraction to people that have seen the contemporary art world almost exclusively as an installation-based based, um, art world where you really have to be cutting edge and where painting really plays a very small role today. So it attracted a lot of painters and if one goes through the, the listing here, what is particularly surprising is that there are very few well, well-known names. There are some, but there are a lot of people that, that haven't achieved sort of national status in terms of, of their paintings or their art. In terms of the paintings themselves, one perhaps could say it's quite a conservative exhibition. The traditional portrait is the main thing in this show, head and shoulders. But there are a few that, that stand out, particularly the winning portrait, I think, was a rather risque move by the artist, or the artist saw themselves as risking something. And in a sense, providing a full-length male nude on display, I suppose, was a bit of a surprise for some people. Fortunately, our judging panel felt that this was an appropriate and a, a, a painting that sort of pushed the idea of portraiture to a degree. And in that sense, I think they've made some, some very good choices. Just in terms of the panel, the panel was consisted of three, three persons, Hayden Proud from the South African National Gallery, who provides a particular historical perspective, but is also a well-known portrait painter himself. Then, Gulin Glela Dioni is a, is a printmaker at the at University of Stellenbosch, and he's successfully been adjudicated throughout his career as a, as a lecturer. And I think as a printmaker, he brought a particular eye onto printmaking, in, in this competition. The last adjudicator was this year's winner at the UK um, Portrait Awards at the National Portrait Gallery and Susan Dutoy. She originates from South Africa and moved over to the United Kingdom in 1994 where she practices as a teacher as well as a professional painter. In this respect I think the adjudication panel was particularly well suited for making a judgment on the works that came in. I think anybody that's made it to these 14 works that were also selected by that panel should, should be proud of the achievement.